So I bought some cigarettes and uh, this is also my usual route. I go there, I mean I go around and uh, you know, that's what you do. If you don't work, you don't have a car, you don't know anybody, you don't have any friends. You spend no money on the telephone and you live in a tomb. That's what you do. You walk about, you walk around and you think about your life, which was supposed to end. But now I think it was something completely different. Now for something completely different. So, I stopped with the, around May 1st, 2000. That's where he revealed himself to me. I didn't know what was going on even back then. But I just, when I was still in Austra Australia, just a month before maybe, that was the first time that my mind actually turned towards Jesus Christ. Before that, I made, I made, it made no sense to me. The religion and the, the crosses and nothing, it was just bullshit to me. It was just, I believed in a kind of a cosmic God. I hoped for, so, yeah. But a month before he appeared to me, my mind turned. And he didn't, he didn't really stand like a person there, like, like in flesh. He it just felt like that he became more and more, uh, more and more present in what we humans call everything. You know, everything is all of your conscience, all of your soul, all of your heart, that's everything. It actually means everything you are, because that's the only thing that we really know, what we are, what, what our inner imaging, inner intelligence, inner heart. Yes, we don't know who other people are really. We, uh, but he, he became more and more present there. And I was quite upset that he was turned with his back to me. I thought later on, years later, I thought uh, maybe he just appeared so that he would tell me that he really doesn't like me. And that's it, you know. As it turned out, you know, years have passed. I was completely destroyed. I didn't have a life. My health was falling apart. Then by some weird accident, I got a massive tinnitus ringing in the ears, but a really massive one, which was destroying me so bad. that I can't tell you how bad and I still hear it, but it's getting better. Maybe he's healing me now, I hope so. Uh, but it was terrible and 28 and a half years from Lake Balaton have passed and round about here is where I finally realized the truth that that girl, the Lyubin Kapavasovich, was was in love with me, but not because uh, it was actually natural that she fell in love with me because we had dates later on and so on. We went together to the airport and so on. We drove in the car together. So she did fall in love with me because I was so in love what I believed in her. So I was radiating my love in her direction and she picked up on it and she responded and she did fall in love as much as she could and she's a nice girl she was a nice girl i don't know her anymore and she did respond and uh, we also fell in love in a human way but the weird thing was that when i was with with her on dates we had a couple maybe five six seven dates though she had the boyfriend of course when i was with her i felt a little bit in love but it wasn't enough like for me but when I took her back home so that she could fuck her boyfriend, then 10 minutes later, a really massive love came over me. And that was the love that I really wanted. And uh, I didn't know that, I didn't really know that it was him. It was Jesus Christ who loved me. And I loved him. And I had no idea why would that be. But right here, right three, four months ago, I realized that, yeah, it was true because I replayed all of the stuff, all of the memories, visual and audio and emotional memories and understanding back. And I realized that that girl, Yubinka, was in love with me, but only maybe for a month or two. And she actually plan, was planning to 
uh, you know, uh, to leave her boyfriend and go with me, but like she didn't have the courage. And she's a coward, as Slovenian girls usually are. And uh, but uh, there was there was many very very weird things happening. I'm gonna tell you that in other videos, I guess. But in that relationship, so that's what it is. If you want eternal life, you really have to know him. You know, know him actually means to be, believe it or not, in love with God himself. You have to have a, a love story. And it's a killer God. He has to kill you before he begins you again. So that's what I felt on top of that hill overlooking my village was uh, that he also dropped some kind of a seed into my soul which was really fucked up at the time I was all ruined that was already four years of suffering because of that Lubinka which I thought which wasn't he dropped something in me and that little drop of something then grew and grew as I know now it was the second soul the, Im the immortal version of me the one that can see the kingdom of God the heavens and exist forever which is quite alright I guess and uh, it was growing and uh, sometime early February this year actually this second soul was apparently developed enough to be awoken to replace the old almost dead soul because I was completely fucked up I was gonna kill myself I had a catastrophic depression damage it was over with the old soul but then funny things funny feelings came across me like the heavens was touching me and uh, my perception of reality was beginning to really change uh, I felt I felt there were actually two souls alive at the same time inside my body the old, the dying one on its deathbed and the new one but interestingly enough the new soul is completely um, equal, the same as the old dying soul it's even in the same condition of uh, disaster as I was so that when it, it replaces the old soul you don't really notice much only one thing I did notice I didn't have that catastrophic depression anymore like in, in one week it disappeared I was still and I still am completely fucked up but I don't have that damage called depression when you are it is just the physical damage of the soul I guess I don't have that anymore in one week then it disappeared I still feel terrible but uh, that depression just disappeared I guess the new soul takes over completely the condition of the old soul that is on its deathbed but it doesn't take over the physical damage of that soul because that depression is actually um, if you call it a physical damage of the soul and that 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 went, went away so that's round about how it was uh, all right let me you see he likes to be around his people all of those he killed are here he likes killing them and then he puts his signs over them uh, and then he puts his statue in the middle of them no. Say hi. Hello, I'm glad. All right. That's all right. 